Hello guys, my name is Ralph Johnston and this is Ralph Johnston Photography. Today, before we get into the photo news, I want to give you a quick tip. In the studios a lot of the times, I will have a glow behind the ears. And pretty much what that is, is caused because of the lights. Just put a piece of gaff tape right behind the ear, and so therefore that glow won't happen through the ear. I'll show you a picture of what I'm talking about. Alright, on to the news now. Have you ever had that problem when you're editing photos and you lose complete track of time? Well, I got a solution for you in a creative way. I have a bunch of clocks here and I'm showing you the pictures. The first clock I have for you is this one that looks like an old camera. It's has a it's an analog clock. It has it, the dial right on the camera body itself. The thing that I think would be really cool with this one is if that light flashed like every hour or something. All right, let's go to the next one, and that is a roll of 35 films, you know, 35 millimeter film rolls. Uh, this one has, you know, two different ones, as you see. Uh, I like the white one better because it just, to me, looks better, and I like how the date's written on it, too. And on to the next one we have here is actually a Canon lens. I, I don't know if this guy just made a mock lens and did this or what, but... I do like it because it's a Canon lens, it's an L-series lens. I'm favored with Canon just because I use Canon gear. But my last one is the favorite one here, and this is one of them old large format cameras. And I really like this one, it has the bellows, and the where the lens is, is the clock, and I really like that one very much. James Tyler Shores from Making Georgia and His Friends came up with a parody of Taylor Swift's blank space. It's all related to photography. I have the link below, plus I also put all the lyrics in the description of this. It's pretty funny, you should check it out. Even if you're not a camera nerd, Canon, Nikon, it doesn't matter whoever you're with, they get all of you guys, so it's actually pretty funny, and I, you know, it's just something fun to watch. Alright, if you don't have a camera yet and you want a new camera, I have a suggestion for you. It's $14,000 though, so you may not want to do this. But it is the Fujifilm X-T1 Globetrotter Kit. And like you said, it costs $14,000. But, 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 it comes with an iPad. So, so there is a bonus. Uh, pretty much what it is is that you get... The Fuji camera with it naturally, and it's a limited edition case and stuff like that, and I'm trying to find the person who made it. The people who made the case is called Globe Trotter, which they are a fashion high-end leather brand. It's very beautiful. Here's the photos of it that I'm showing you. Inside you get, it's a 21 inch case, you get the Fuji X-T1 camera, the Fuji Non 25mm 1.4, the 56mm 1.2, an 18-55 to 2.8-4, a 50-140mm 50, 50 to 140mm with a 2.8, and it has places for your extra lenses, battery grip, and yada yada, plus it comes with another bag, so you get a uh, hard aluminum anodized case, a bag, the camera, the four lenses, excuse me, and spots for your other stuff. But, like I said, if you want this, it's $14,000. It's quite expensive. Ten of these are going to be released worldwide. You can buy them at Harrods in the UK. That price is 11,500 11, euros or $14,000 United States money. So, anyways, that's photo news. Peace out. Bye.